All right, guys, quick video on a Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro. So it's, uh, you know, like a full-on dive watch here. It has the screw-down crowns and everything. Uh, but this one's going to be a chronograph, obviously, and it's quartz. So it's using the Ronda 3520.D. It should have four jewels in it. I'm not going to pop the case back off, but there's a look at it. This watch was still actually brand new when it was sent over to me by Stuart. Um, this ended up selling in the watch sale that I just did recently, so uh, someone already picked this up. And the best I can tell when I'm looking this up, I think they're discontinued. So what's out there is out there, I think. So uh, case size on this, 43 millimeter, 51 lug to lug, 14 and a half thick, sapphire crystal up top, aluminum bezel insert, 22 millimeter lug width here. And the crown is just under 7 millimeter at 6 0.9 millimeter so you can see it has a really nice the flag motif uh, embossed into or engraved into the crown there and if we unscrew this pusher up here and this one that'll allow you access to actually use them for a chronograph so we'll go ahead and get that chronograph hand going while we're talking about it so you have a really tight well I don't want to say really tight a nice and tight 120 click bezel action consistent throughout its rotation and locks up and lines up perfectly um, there's no play or anything like that in it nice sharp coin edging you can see the finishing on this case is just like all the other wards that you've uh, seen before on the channel excellent brushwork nice polished relief edge there just overall great looking watch I will probably keep this video pretty short though because I think we can pretty much talk about this watch in under five minutes. So this might be a trigger watch too, meaning that you have the branding Christopher Ward. Well, that triggers people alone. And then placing it over at the nine. Um, and then it's quartz too. So um, yeah, if you're triggered by any of those, then I'm sure you are freaking out right now. But it, it does have the cool handset that we uh, most of us enjoyed. In the earlier wards so that is pretty cool and you have a constant ticking seconds down there at the six and then you have another sub dial up top which is going to hold another time i don't think it's dual time zone maybe it is i don't know so we can stop this and reset it oh, okay so that that's another chrono counter so i didn't research the ronda 3520 so it's pretty cool quartz chronograph movement it looks like so and then you screw these guys back down in doing so you will maintain your uh, water resistance which most c60s are 600 meter if i'm not mistaken so i'm sure that this one is as well no it says 30 atmos so this is a 300 meter water resist so there you guys go let me kill the lights oh wait let's do a wrist shot i said i was gonna cover this in like five minutes i I might actually do it quicker than that. I will say this strap is phenomenal. I'm really digging the strap. But you can see there on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, wears great. The strap is like that sweet spot between, you know, flexible, pliable. I feel like it's probably going to break in nicely once it gets a nice curve to it. it. Has this heavy woven material up top, and the rest of it is either some sort of rubber or silicone type rubber. Quick release spring bars, and then it has the both of them floating but this one's semi-captured rubber keepers i'm happy they went with rubber instead of metal and then assigned buckle here so the strap is awesome here it is actually next to seiko skx which i wore today this is the um, 10th day of august so i'm still cycling through my collection one watch per day and so the skx was on wrist today so you can then see size comparison all right now we can kill the lights Ward typically has really good loom, and this one looks like really good loom on the hour minute and the pip, and slightly subdued or faded on the indices. So overall decent. I would like to see more intensity on the indices, but they're still legible. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Stuart for sending this in. I'll see you guys on the next vid.